Uh, Mr. Bates versus the post office is a real emotional journey. Um, it's about people, real people, normal people, people like you and me, who have their worlds turned upside down by um, a huge, huge power uh, of the post office. Um, and it's and, and you got to got the way the way I see it is with this is that these people are all very different from different walks of life, but they're all pillars of their community, trusted by the community, and that just all gets turned upside down. Um, and they all come together with um, with the fact that they've all had the same thing happen to them by the by the post office, but all been told that they're the only one. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's it's a real emotional ride. Yeah, my character is Lee Castleton. He was a sub postmaster, um, and he's got a wife, two children, uh, and yeah, same as any postmaster uh, works in his community, um, and then is, is told uh, that he he owes money and he's been taking money, uh, which is obviously untrue. But the post office close him down and take away his livelihood. Um, can't sell his house because they take it. So they bankrupt him and his will turns upside down. It affects him and his family. Kids are getting bullied at school. People spitting at his kids. I mean, you're talking, what price do you put on that? You know, it's, um, yeah, it's tough. Uh, it's tough for everyone, but Lee's story is he, he wants to fight it and find, and basically just tell the truth and believes that if he tells the truth, uh, he'll be okay. He's a real person. I've just met him outside. Oh, really? um, it was an emotional um, meeting, to be honest, because I, I never met Lee, the real Lee Castleton, before I started filming. Uh, because when I spoke to James about playing the part, I, he, I said, uh, "Shall I study him and look at his movements, his voice?" And they said, "No, we don't. We don't want an impersonation. We just want the emotion. He's a northerner. Uh, we want the the emotion to come through, and the person he is to come through." Um, and Lee wasn't. He, he didn't want to really want to come forward at the beginning. I think these, it's very traumatic for these people. So I think there was a bit apprehensive about some of them were stepping forward. Um, but as I say, I've just met him outside now and it was quite emotional. A true story like this needs to be told. I mean, people say about the post office scandal and, you, and if people who might think they know, don't know. I thought I knew, I studied what I could for, for when, obviously when I'd seen uh, the script and got the part, I was like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look what's going on um, and what you think you know doesn't even scratch the surface of what these people went through and that's what this is about. I think when you watch this you have to keep reminding yourself this is true. They did this to people. How can they go home at night to their families knowing that they've ruined somebody else's family and sleep okay? I don't know um, but every time we were filming it we'd finish scenes and then would be going, I can't believe they've done this to these people. Uh, it's it's unbelievable. Um, it's unbelievably true. And that's what I loved about it and the idea about it was we get to we get to tell the truth here uh, and we get we get to let these people be heard and a lot of them that's all they wanted was just listen to us. They were just told it's you um, you're lying, we're telling the truth. Um, and you're guilty and yeah we wanted to be a voice for them for the fact this is one of the biggest miscarriages of justice in british history this is british history here and it's david and goliath it really is and you're talking about the post office right post office goes back hundreds and hundreds of years where they don't even need the police they police themselves you know you, you think a, a, an organization as big as that wouldn't stoop to do what they do here and you have to know this story but even if you think you can read about it and know about it, you have to see what these people went through. You have to feel their emotions of what they went through. Their lives were turned upside down. And these were just normal, everyday people. The Alan Bates, uh, played by Toby Jones, he, he's the person who brings everyone together. Um, obviously, he's a real person and he, he did this for, for real. That he, he Obviously, we was all told, this has not happened to anybody else. You're the only one. So it must be you, otherwise it would have happened. And that's what they tried to keep us separately. They tried to keep us all separate. Um, the true story tries to keep these people from talking to each other. So they can't share their story. So they can't build a group. Um, but Alan brings them together in that community hall. And we, when we were filming them scenes, I remember because we were filming our own bits individually with our families and our, because we have our own individual stories. 
And then we come together. And when we come together, you look around the room and it was like, this was what it, what it was like for them. But also for me as an actor, looking around the room with the talent in the room and the, the actors and the people I was working with, I was like, mum's gonna love this. My mum loves Toby Jones. She was over the moon when I was going to find out I was working with him and stuff. But the cast is, I'm not just saying this because I'm in it, but the cast is, is phenomenal. All the way down to these people that come in it, it later on in the series. Um, that, uh, they're all fantastic actors, well-known people who, so I'm, I'm blessed to be in it. And I was really grateful that I was asked to play the part. What makes this what it is, is that you go on a journey with these people. Um, Sometimes you don't need car crashes and fireworks and shootouts to make something spectacular. So you need to believe in people and the emotion of people. And we are telling the truth. Like I keep saying, you will keep having to remind yourself when you watch this, this is a true story. This happened and you keep catching yourself going, I can't, I can't believe this. This is true, but it is. And that's what grips you. And it's the, you, you, it's the fight for the little man. You know, it's the underdog and you come on that journey going, we can't wait to see when we flip this on its head and we prove that these people are innocent and the post office have done this to them. What is the comeuppance for them? Um, because it starts off with them obviously being told that they are thieves and and then wanting to fight. But it's, you've got to see they start out as positive people and it's watching the post office just take away bits of their character until they're left with nothing but a shell. Some people didn't even survive it. And some people are still fighting it. Uh, and it's, it angered me. I was angry, I still am. How can people sleep at night and do this to people? What price do you put on your life? You know, you lose 10, 15 years, 20 years to depression and people thinking you're a thief, having a criminal record when you're innocent. I think for the people that are involved themselves, Lee Castleton, um, the, the, the person I play, I just, you just want to give them a voice and to be heard and to be seen and believed. And I think that's, yes, they want, they, they want compensation. They deserve compensation. They lost everything. They, they were bankrupt and they were, you know, they had nothing. So yes, compensation, but justice and to be heard and to be, so they can walk down the street with their head held high knowing I'm not a thief, I didn't do this, I, I'm a decent person. You know, it's, these are not, these are not superheroes, they're just everyday people that the post office took everything from. Um, so when people are watching this, I think that's what's gonna, gonna keep you tuned in is, let's get these people back on their feet. Uh, I think STV viewers should tune in and watch this because a, it's the biggest miscarriage of justice in British history. But B, these are people, and this is a true story. And just see what they went through and how they came together to try and get back on their feet and fight Goliath. Because the, the people are David. Um, and it's a real, real emotional journey.